Hello and welcome back to the channel and an incredible adventure where I'm going to take a Honda Super Cub 125 across the land over the sea to find you the most perfect roads in the entire world. The thing of it is, it's October so this could get interesting. <laughs> So I had a message from a very good friend of mine saying to me, do you want to go on an 11 out of 10 adventure to the Isle of Wight? And I was like, do you know what? I'm always busy, so unfortunately not. But then he said I could take his Honda Super Cub and I've never ridden one. So of course I suddenly became free. And that legend, that man, you know him as the business executive. So this is Julian. Now, Julian's been on many of my adventures, but the thing is, you've planned an entire incredible 11 out of 10 adventure. You've promised me castles, views, hot tubs, candles, romance, the entire lot, right? Explain exactly what we're doing. Exactly Go. what we're doing. We are going to the Isle of Wight by car ferry, and we're going to dock. We're going, to, going from Portsmouth to Fishbourne, and then we're going to a place. I have booked a hotel. I can't actually remember where it is, but it's on the Isle of Wight and it's quite nice with sea views, apparently. Sea views. Well, this is going to be 11 out of 10. So basically, you've booked something, you can't know where it is, you don't really know where we're going and you think you've named a few places, is that right? Something like that. This is going to be good. But most of all, this is the first time I've ridden a Honda Super Cub. So let's go. So here we go. That is first gear and this is a mighty adventure. Now, interestingly, I'm riding this beautiful Super Cub 125 that has no clutch because it's one of these sort of gearboxes where you have to pump down through the gears. And if you go right down to four, you can go back to neutral. I've ridden a CT Hunter Cub before. This is how much my brain's gone this morning already. I've never ridden a Honda Super Cub. But of course, what Julian's riding is the best bike in the entire world, and that is the mighty monkey bike. Same engine in both, nine horsepower, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Julian's just said the first thing we're going to do is fill up the bikes and then go on the motorway. So we'll get to test this out to its full capacity, and I reckon we're going to be able to easily hit 100 miles an hour. <laughs> so let's get some miles done. But one thing I'll quickly say this is actually, whoa going to break this actually is super smooth for the gear changes and the CT that I've ridden before is quite clunky awesome bike but you kind of clunk through the gears unless I was really messing that up but this feels a lot smoother to change right let's have some fun let's get to know the super cub and let's get some miles under our belt I like it <laughs> yeah yeah it's smoother than the CT yeah, the whole gearbox is low smoother randomly, unless I was just getting that really wrong. <laughs> well, after a short time of riding the Super Cup, already liking it, it's quite, it's got its own character to ride. It's got this kind of already fun feel, but I've just set off, so we'll work out more as we go. But yeah, it's already growing on me. Now we're leaving a place called Worthing. And this is the home of the Werther's original man, the old dude that used to get kids to sit on his lap and give them sweets. But we're not going to go there because that is seriously wrong. But what we are going to do is hack down some more miles and get to the ferry. I don't actually know where the ferry is. I have no idea whatsoever. So I'm generally following Julian in the hopes that he knows where he's going, but he hasn't switched on his phone. So the faith is all in you, buddy. Anyway. Let's keep going. Well, here we are, Portsmouth and the ferry, St. Faith. We're going on St. Faith. I was expecting a big luxury cruise yacht, if I'm honest. But, um, I don't, this looks like a little, as you'd cross like, cross a river on style ferry. But very nice. Wow. 
Well, we are now on the ferry. It's about 30 to 40 minutes to cross. I have no idea how much it costs because I haven't paid for any of this, not even the fuel in the bike currently, but I'm sure Julian will have me sooner or later in one way or another. But we are here and we are crossing. Now, interestingly, the Super Cub so far has really impressed me. That four speed step through box has generally been super smooth. And I was getting sort of maybe more used to it because I've ridden the CT, but I found it quite jerky. But I think generally I just got it all wrong and I'm smoothing it out, so it's all good. So Julian is of course on the best monkey bike, the best vehicle in the entire world. Because of course the Honda monkey bike 100% is the best. So Julian, the big question is, why did you buy a Honda monkey bike? Honda monkey bike because I liked them, I liked them for years actually. And I saw this nutter on the telly. You might know him. His name is Helmet Head. And I watched his adventures and I thought, I'd like some of that. It's a really nice little bike, so I bought one. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I wasn't really influenced by him. It's just that it sort of turned a dream into reality. So what you're saying is he was massively influenced by me. He bought the Cub as well because of the channel, because you just said it looks cool. I was going to buy Monkey, but then I bought the Cub, but then you bought Monkey. It gets very confusing. Now, as we all know, you're an executive businessman, and you've booked us obviously here into business class. It's very posh. It's very nice, as you can see. It's only got a few people here because we're very executive. But so as an executive businessman, right, you've yes. recently told me, if I'm right, you've yeah. purchased a shop, okay? Yeah. Now... You bought you bought the shop not to do any tax dodging at all in anywhere anything dodgy Where nothing to do with that at Where all. Where is this going? But I want to ask the big question because yeah. I rode past your shop on the way here, right? What does the three X's mean on the actual top part? What, what and the windows are blacked out. What are you actually selling? What are we selling? We're selling services. <laughs> so if, financial services. If you want to come to whereabouts are you located? Um, <laughs> Melton Mowbray. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to go and visit his shop in Melton Mowbray, go and look for the one with the three X's with the black tub window that sells services. I don't even know what Melton Mowbray is. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we've got to do this in true epic 11 out of 10 style. But, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Great Isle of Wight. So after the most epic 11 out of 10 entrance to the Isle of Wight, where are we now? We are on the end of Ride Pier. Right, and are also, we... I want to know all the history of the pier. Go. Go. Uh, it's quite old, it's uh, Victorian, and during the, the Falklands War, the Royal Navy used it as a, as a stop-off just to get more supplies because Portsmouth's quite a long way, it's over there. So the Royal Navy had to come here to re replenish their supplies of gin and biscuits um, and water, fresh water. They need fresh water when you're on a warship. So they, they came over here. No, I don't know anything about it. All I know is... <laughs> so you're, going, a, you're going on for ages. There's a, I don't know, I know, but there's a railway there. Right. We've just got a nice cup of coffee. Yeah. And we rode up, I think it's, I've got a feeling it's the only pier in the UK that you can drive along. It's so, cool. so it was we, cool, wasn't it? It was it, a heck it was of an cool. entrance. It wasn't it just, yeah. So what exact year just. was the pier made? Uh, 1681. And the month? Uh, February. And the day? <laughs> You're just a bunker. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the big question after that entire waffle, he does go on a bit, bless him, right? After that entire waffle, where are we going next? But you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> where are we going next? Go. What was the place that you just said? I don't know. We're going near end or something, wasn't it? <laughs> We're going that way. Yeah, well, if you want to know, I can tell you. I can look it on the map. 
I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's not worth it. We'll tell you when we get there. Right. How about that? We're going yeah. that way. We're going clockwise around the island. Well, here we go then. The Isle of Wight. Let's explore it. Now, I've got it out of Julian. He said we're going to see a view. So let's go and see a view on the Isle of Wight. How cool. And right now, we're going down this beautiful wooden dock that you can come down, park where we just had our coffee. Just look at that. I always say that thing when I hit my happy place, when I get on an adventure, and that's what I love to do. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my happy place. Just wow. Simply wow. Now I know I don't have to say this because many of you watch this channel because of some of the epic adventures I've done on the mighty Honda monkey bike Ashworth, my country sucking beast. But there is something, isn't there? There is something about small bikes and epic adventures that just make everything so much fun. Both me and Julian, we just stopped for a second just to take in the amazing view, but you can't really see behind that wall of the sea. And we're just smiling. We're just smiling, burbling around on our awesome machines, taking in every second, every single second. And Julian just went, anytime you want to stop, stop. I was like, we'll be stopping a lot because this is seriously next level and chilled and fun. It's the best thing. We're just relaxed, smiling, having fun. I love small bikes and I love epic adventures. Well, I was going to show you Sea View and there is a place called Sea View and everything's really close. So we kind of got to where Sea View was. I didn't realise we were there. Both stops went, look how amazing this view is. And then we carried on to get to Sea View. So we went through it and I didn't capture it. But what we have is a place called Yavaland. So I'm going to do an epic 11 out of 10 job of showing you how epic this is mixed with a load of cool pictures of the mighty Super Cub. Well, after what must be the most cinematic scene anybody has ever seen in the entire world, it was cool, weren't it? It was good. It was good. Now, the question is, is this, this is like the, what we like to call the Julian Bickers tour. Where are we going to go next? What's the plan, BA? You dropped me in that one, didn't you? Go on. Uh, we're going that way. Yeah. To... Somewhere. Sandown. Sandown. That's where is we're going to. Cow Sandown. Cowboys. Cowboys. Me, you on stallions, guns shooting up in the air, cowboy hats. Nothing, I mean, everyone's going to do, love that. There's nothing to do with Sandown. Oh, that's rubbish. It's a beachside resort it's over there. Oh, we're going to get a coffee then, yeah? Probably. Cool. Well, we haven't got a plan. <laughs> we're heading that way and uh, we're going to see what happens. So, shall we? Now, when somebody gets bored of waiting for you to put all your stuff away and they just ride around in circles and circles and circles, <laughs> every time I get closer, hoping that I'm ready, must be very frustrating. So here we are, back on the road, on the mighty Super Cub. 
and I've got to say I'm liking it more and more and more it's fun so fun and so many people come up and go oh, I used to have one of them when I was younger and I love that and then you have to sort of go well, it's not the C90 it's like the new version the super cub and then I have to admit that it's not even my bike and they kind of look at me like I'm very weird I'm like Julian but um, I've got to say I'm definitely liking this bike to the point where I actually quite want, want one. Now I've ridden it and I'm enjoying it so much, I want one. But my love, heart and soul really still belongs to the monkey bike. It's got to be. It just looks so awesome. And on his bike, that blue, it just looks amazing with the Akpovic exhaust. That for me is a little bit too loud, but also looks proper mega as well. Yeah, nice colour, nice sound it's making me really want to go on a monkey but anyway here we are in sundown land of joy and happiness and quick chicken and pizza land mm, nice right let's see where this adventure properly takes us next well we've come and found a thing now earlier on you would have seen on the beach scene we flew the drone up and i was like Do you know what let's go and check it out now this is called Col culver down beacon right that's right and the thing of it is do you know this this is a beacon for vegans for veganism <laughs> this is what it's for veganism yeah. yeah so what you have to be right like all celebrities now, a part-time vegan. It makes everybody want to hit that thumbs up button. They love you because you're a vegan and you're respecting the entire world. But make sure you say you're part-time. Got it? Yeah, but I'm not though, you are. Yeah, but we just say that we are. I'm not a celebrity, you're the celebrity. So press, we... press thumbs up, <laughs> press thumbs up. When you reach the end of the video and make a comment. Yeah, don't leave yet. <laughs> we don't want you to leave no, yet. No, no, keep watching. But that's the thing, you have to be part-time. Part-time vegan. As soon as we leave here, we can go back to not being. Right, OK, let's do that. Let's go and check out the vegan beacon. I was lost in the wood the dust and the fairies found me and they led the way they clear the way to my heart all the hurt all the pain under the skin I had fainted well here we are the vegan beacon now this is a heck of a spot in it it is the view look at this view behind us view. you can see everything right across the whole of the island there's gun wharf spinnaker tower over there that's nice right the most important thing of it is though is this is very very romantic no, it <laughs> it's not romantic in any way what do you mean it's not romantic it is not how can this not be romantic? Look at the view. It's it's it's, it's special. Take this into your heart, Julian. My ferry's booked. <laughs> I've got to go. Yeah, in four days, <laughs> we're all good. <laughs> Lots of love going on. Here we go. As we leave Vegan Beacon, we are now headed to our hotel. Now again, this has all been organised by Julian, the business executive. So I'm expecting big things, posh hotel, four poster bed, bottle of champagne when I arrive. So this should be epic. Let's go and see what Mr. Julian Bickers has organized for us this evening. Well, we're currently in Shanklin and the hotel is called the Narrow Lodge Hotel. And to be fair, Julian's done quite well because he's gone, I've got you a room with a sea view. When we got here to check in though, I was like, oh, I'll have the nicest room, please. So she gave me the key and said, oh, this one's lovely. And I said, is it better than that one? And she said, yes. And then Julian stepped in and went, I'm paying for this and took the key. I mean, if that's not rude, do you know what I mean? Anyway, let me show you exactly what I've got for no money because he paid for it. Let me show you. So I have got a double bed, not four poster, but I have a double bed with this kind of vintage look at these cabinets. I love the point that I've actually got a kettle, coffee making, that's legendary. Somewhere to put all my wads of cash, the safe that I don't know the code for, and wardrobe space, a door just in case you get really bored. The TV that nobody 
ever watches. I think that might be for heating, I don't know. And of course, check this out, vintage style sliding door into the bathroom sink. Of course, the throne, no drinking water fountain in here. The shower of the power, but most importantly, the sexiest Lord in the world. But it gets even better because check out this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a balcony with a sea view. Now I believe Union's room's just there, the better one with the perfect sea view. You know, just saying, Julian. And then obviously I've got my little private area just here, but how cool is this? Now this is 100% winging it adventure, what Julian promised me, because tomorrow we're gonna spend the whole day exploring the island. And how cool is that gonna be? We don't really have a plan. I can't turn around and say we're gonna do this amazing thing because I have no idea what's going on. But that's how I like to do my adventures. Don't have a clue, make up as you go, find out what we discover. Now, of course, the one thing that I need to do is buy Mr. Julian Bickers a very, very cheap half pint of beer to say thank you so much for all of his effort and his hard work, lending me his bike, bringing me here. Yeah, I even stayed at his house last night as well and he looked after me and he cooked me a fantastic meal. So the dude is an absolute legend. So I need to enjoy a beer with him. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Super Cub adventure which just keeps giving. Anyway, I can't wait for tomorrow. It's gonna to be epic, exploring, awesome bike, awesome company. It's gonna be a giggle. Oh baby, I love 